The dining room is where these housemates come and tell Big Brother their deepest secret. They share their emotions, they spill a lot of tears about their other housemates and tell Big Brother their darkest desire. And today, Big Brother capped it off with inviting the Ndine pairs for the first ever diary session of the Big Brother Niger Season 9 installment. And guys, did they spill? Yo, they talked and talked and talked. And in today's video, we're gonna be dissecting everything they said. I welcome you to today's video. My name is Shoes, and this is Powerhouse of Positivity. If this is your first time coming across my channel, just drop us a like, subscribe, and make sure that you watch this video to the end. So, guys, starting it off by Big Brother inviting this housemate inside the diary room. They came in, Big Brother asked them, you know, the normal question, how are you feeling? How are you feeling being a housemate of this season's Big Brother? And guys, these guys, they talked, they told Big Brother how happy they are. They said that they are living as king, that they never expected to be chosen, and that the house is amazing, and that everybody is amazing. They talked and talked and talked. Big Brother also asked them, okay, you say this house is amazing, you say the housemate are amazing. Out of this housemate, who has made an impression? On you whether good or bad and then Shinne of the Indian Nepal took it and started guys the way she was talking you can feel the anger you can feel that whomever that housemate was got on her nerves I'm talking about Dami Lola yes Dami from the Tami uh, pair so she said that Dami was rude to her and that the kind of energy that Dami, that Dami was giving is not sitting well with her and Big Brother asked her, okay, what is that energy that you are talking about? What is the attitude that she showed you? Explain more. Tell me more. You know, Big Brother. So she started spilling that uh, during the afternoon, why Dami, why Dami was cooking? Because Dami was in charge of lunch today. During the afternoon, why Dami was cooking? After cooking, she went there to place her own share of the food. And then as she was taking the vegetable, Dami out of nowhere started shouting to her hey don't take the whole vegetable people have not eaten and she was like wow i'm not I, i'm considering i won't take the whole vegetable i know other people and have not eaten but it's the way that dami said it to her that she's angry that dami is bossy and uh, also rude and that her attitude doesn't sit well with her and to make matters watch Nne also second the whole motion that dami's attitude is rotten that she is super Rude. Nne tried to make everything looks nice by saying you no know, that she has yes yeah, she has an attitude and uh, I think the only the thing that can describe everything is that she is bossy and Shinde was like no you can be bossy and still be civil about it you can be bossy and still have a good attitude that with dummy that dummy is bossy and then rude that dummy is unnecessarily rude and guys you know that she said that I'm like yo. We are in for a show. We are in for a game. I would like I we haven't had our first fight yet. But if you can see from the show, it is rooming around. Our first fight is rooming around. And I don't think we will wait till Sunday to see it. I don't think. Because from what I'm seeing, this housemate with the way they are moving, this housemate are moving in full throttle. They are moving with full speed. So I don't think we'll wait till Sunday before we get our first fight. The next question Big Brother asked was to Nne. Big Brother asked Nne, okay, who has made an impression to you? And then guys, I think we will be having, we might be having another love triangle going on in that house. Cause the way Nne was gushing about Mayor Fraud, yo, the way Nne was gushing about Mayor Fraud inside the diary room, I have a feeling that Nne might have a crush on Mayor Frosch. And guys, remember, she's not the only one. Dami is also eyeing Mayor Frosch. Onyeka might be having an eye for Mayor Frosch. So guys, imagine those three ladies, those three personalities having a crush on one guy. Yo, Mayor, I salute you. But guys, she said that no, that Mayor, that they vibe together and they have this friendship thing going on right now. Okay, keep talking, keep talking. What, 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 what? Big brother was like, okay, I'm listening. What? What is that thing that he did that made that 
made an impression to you and she's like no big brother is the way that we vibe the way that she uh, we talk he even taught me how to play games and he's teaching me different sports and i'm like okay okay keep going i want to hear more that they are vibing no it's all about vibe to them and uh, developing their friendship that she's loyal that she that she's that type of person that wants to get to know people first and with mayor mayor is always open to getting to know her that they are trying to develop a friendship and i'm like okay we are here this is big brother house we are here to see so big brother later asked Shinne who has made that impression to her or who is she bonding with in the house and she knew was like mbadi were twins the way her niece was looking at her like what do you mean mbadi were twins so big brother was like mm -hmm. it seems like you're not agreeing with what your aunt said and she's like yes i don't agree with her because the mbadi were twins used us the mbadi were twins used our goodness they used us to be head of house and big brother was like okay explain more so Nne started rambling on how the on how the Mbadiwe twins was not uh, showing them face, how the Mbadiwe twins was not even interested in them, knowing them as people. But immediately they won the custodian challenge. The Mbadiwe twins was like, hey, custo, custo, everywhere they go, the Mbadiwe twins was jamming, coming body with them. That that is not a good way. That they didn't do it in a good way, that they were busy jamming body, coming body, coming body, getting to know them, talking to them everywhere they go, them body way twins is there, everywhere they go, them body way twins is there. And then they were like, wow, this is the first day and these people are actually getting to know us, these people are investing their time in getting to know us. So they decided to open themselves up and talk to the Mbadiwe twins and bond with them, only to find out that the Mbadiwe twins are not taking everything they are saying to her. I big brother asked her, are you sure? this whole head of house ballot is not influencing your the way of reason the way you are reasoning about them by the way to me. and they was like yes the my whole reason of talking like this is because of what happened during the head of house ballot because during before the head of house ballot we saw how they were moving they were not talking to us we won the custodian challenge they started talking to us so we didn't read it as they them coming body to us just to win the head of us because we were like okay these people wants to know us these people are interested in us let's give them the opportunity let's give them the chance to get to know us so we started talking to them we started talk we started vibing so we kind of made an agreement okay we, we are going to choose them so they decided to choose them for the head of house but then they pointed out that they were not their first choice that them particular twins were not their first choice but after seeing how they have they've been talking, how they've been bonding, Shinne opted out for nominating them, for voting them as the head of house. Only for them by the way trained to end up not even casting one vote for them. So that kind of hurt them that though they were uh, kind of bonding with Mbadiwe twins, but Mbadiwe twins we are making use of them to win the head of house. So we brother asked them, okay now. Since they've won the head of house, have you talked to them or have you tried to sort things out, get to know the, the reason why they didn't vote you? And they are like, yes, that they've had a chat with them by the way twins this afternoon and they talked about it. And then by the way twins was like, but we're already a custodian. So, and I'm like, yes, that's true. You're a custodian at the end of the This is a game. You, you made your choice. Then they also have to make their choice. Did they betray you? Yes. And that is what we are here for, to see the betrayal. And I'm happy that this now has changed the way the Ndine family or the Ndine pairs are going to be looking at this game because i think they have that mentality that oh do good to people and they will do good to you but seeing how mbadiwe turned the good they did to them and switched it up on them yo i can't wait to see the villain they are going to turn out to be because guys that's how villains are made that is how villains are made so i can't wait to see the Ndine being the variants of the house. So after Big Brother was done talking to them and then explaining, guys, Ndine said something that caught my attention. She said something that caught my attention. And I'm like, no, this woman, no, this woman, this woman, this woman has something up here. She was like, Big Brother, I know my niece doesn't agree with me bonding with the Mbadiwe twins. But I have my own reason. So Big Brother was like, okay, share what is that reason? Share with us. So she was like, Big Brother, there's this saying to get to know your enemy, you have to be closer. So with them doing that thing that they 
that they did to us by not choosing us or voting us. I am bonding with them just to know their strategy, just to know their weakness, just to know everything about them so that by the time I'm done knowing them and I start my own revenge, they will be sorry for themselves. And I'm like, yay! Yeah! We are not ready, guys. We are not ready. We are not ready for this pair. You see, in the net trains, you know, they've been moving silently. If not that they won that custodian challenge, nobody would have known their name by now. But seeing that, I'm like, no, these people are in the game. They are truly in the game. They are truly in the game. And then big brother asked them, okay, we know them by the way twins used you according to your word to win the head of house. How do you feel now? Knowing that the head of house has no immunity or there is nothing actually, the head of house has no immunity. And they were like, no, in a way they are happy, but in a way they are scared and disappointed because their plan was to come into the house and win the head of house. That was the plan for them to win the head of house and advance more in the game. But seeing now that the head of house has no immunity, that anybody who is the head of house can go home the next Sunday. They are now afraid to even win it. I mean, where I was like, at least you guys can calm down, being that you guys are the custodian, uh, the custodian challenge winner, and you guys are immune for this week. And they were like, yes, big brother, we are immune for this week, but what of next week? That their plan was to win the head of house. And guys, with that, big brother congratulated them, asked them if they want to share anything else with big brother. And they talked about how the weather is cold inside the house. Sometimes it's hot, sometimes it's cold. If Big Brother can find a middle, a middle ground on a reducing the AC and then turning it on when the housemate complains about the Big Brother, and in his normal function was like, I will look into it. And guys, with that, they came to the end of their direct session. If anything else comes up, I'll make sure to bring it to you. And guys, subscribe. Subscribe, guys. I appreciate you. Bye-bye.